Hello, I'm going to give a brief executive summary of the IEDM tutorial memory centric computing systems. I'm Onur Mutlu. I'm a professor at ETH Zurich. This is my contact information. I work in computer architecture, computer systems, bioinformatics, and hardware security. And my current research mission is building fundamentally better architectures. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how computing is bottlenecked by data. We're going to talk about several applications where data is key for future workloads that leads to a performance energy bottleneck. We're going to analyze this bottleneck on many applications. And we're going to see how uh, uh, the data bottleneck is limiting future applications of future systems like genome analysis systems that are really interesting going into the future. And data overwhelms modern machines today because we're very processor centric in how we design our systems. As a result, a significant fraction of the system energy and performance is waiting, right, wasted on handling data. So we're going to start with the axiom that intelligent architecture handles data well. And we're going to talk about how architectures are not doing well with respect to this. Today's architectures are process-centric as opposed to data-centric. Architectures today are not taking advantage of a lot of data that's flowing through them to make data-driven or machine learning-based decisions. Instead, they make human-driven decisions. And architectures today are not exploiting different properties of different application data. As a result, they're component-aware, they're not data-aware. And we're going to lay the foundation of some architectural principles for intelligent machines, which are data-centric, data-driven, and data-aware. And we're going to focus a lot on data-centric and memory-centric architectures, talking a lot on processing data where it makes sense. One example we're going to examine is processing in memory. And we're going to tackle many, many questions related to this. We're going to go all the way from algorithms to devices and look at different solutions in between. And we're going to especially look at two approaches in processing in memory, minimally changing memory chips and exploiting 3D stacked memory. And a good chunk of the tutorial is going to be about uh, computing architectures with minimal data elements. We're going to spend some time on data-driven, self-optimizing computing architectures and data-aware expressive computing architectures as well. And we're going to hopefully build up to much more intelligent machines than what uh, we have today. We're going to during the tutorial, we're going to reference a lot of papers, and you can find these papers online. Uh, and I'm happy to talk about them and answer questions in the Q&A session. Thank you.